of strange powers coming from prehistoric times. She always time. is. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid so, that's me. Would I try something that, that fits better with science first of all? Could it have been a hallucination? Yes, they were similar, but not identical. One, one of you had it come from the re left hand side and one from the right, I believe. Mm. Now, I think it's possible that as you said, it's something tipping the balance in the brain, but not a playback of the past, just a straightforward hallucination such as you can get by uh, unstable effects here in the temporal lobes of the brain. Why then should this place be significant? I'm more interested in the modern things here, the, the electricity pylons, the, mm. um, the masts there. And oddly enough, these events started very soon after those television masts were first turned on. I'll buy that, but there's something we're missing here, and that's the, the correspondence between these two stories. Now, Ian had a story reported in the press, but the press misreported the story. They said that he's seen a, a short, dark-haired, a lady with short, dark hair, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, Chris had read that report before his experience, but in his experience, it, it wasn't like that. He saw the long, blonde hair. Now, that is an extra coincidence, which, again, I find significant and interesting. But in the dark, can you be sure about hair colour? Well, yes. Yeah. He was quite sure. Yeah, yeah. Was a, definitely. We must look at, at Bluebell Hill because I think that what it's providing is the energetic trigger necessary to spark this off. What it is, I think you and I can agree that something is happening in the brain, but why and yes. what it is. I'd love to know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's something these two gentlemen do have in common that we don't know about that, that made them see exactly the same hallucination. Well, the fact that they're both, they do a lot of driving, suggests to me that it's the kind of hallucination they'd be m more likely to get than other people. It must be every driver's nightmare to have uh, a young, healthy person suddenly pop out on the side of the road and kill them. The wire blonde. Could that be true? No, not at all. No? If I had hallucinations, I couldn't be a coach driver. What do you both feel now when you drive down Blue Brill Hill? Well, Don't after you do this time, time you're, you're, one thing that goes you're conscious. You're conscious. You're always looking. Do you go down there at night? Now I do, yeah. You do. Now I do, but afterwards I didn't. For two months, mm. I took the, the long way home. Well, the answer lies somewhere in Bluebell Hill. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>